Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to install system di diagnostic services in Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services. So where I want to install this is my server. First thing we need to do is go on Lifecycle Services website, which is lcs.dynamics.com, and log in with your ID and password. Once you're logged in, you will see the project that you're assigned to. Click on that particular project. And you will see up here, there are three sections to Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services. One is project, where you handle your projects, and other is phases. And phases are the project phases. And the third section, where we are spending, we're going to spend most of our time, is tools. And I'm going to put out video about each tool, step by step, how to use it. And this is the first video where we're going to use a tool called System Diagnostic. So in order to get there, click on this little arrow. If you don't see all the tools up here, you can also go right and go to the tool section. But this is easier way to get to it. Click on here and click on System Diagnostic. Keep in mind that I'm using the classic view. Uh, if you use the beta version, uh, you will not see that little arrow, but you need to click on and you will see all the tools that um, a particular project that you're working on based on that project. If it's an implementation project um, and if it's an upgrade project, you will see the tools on the main screen based on that. So we're going to go ahead and click System Diagnostic. And first thing we need to do is click on admin and get the certificate from uh, Lifecycle Services to create a trust between this computer and Lifecycle Services. So we're going to go ahead and click on admin. And if you look at here, it says download the installer right here and click on download the system diagnostic setup wizard package. This is mandatory in order to use this tool. So we're going to go ahead and click on here and you need to save as that particular uh, LCS diagnostic FX underscore x64 so this is zip file after we don't download that we're gonna unzip that so you need to minimize this keep the browser open and go to where you downloaded at the installer here's my installer so what I'm going to do is right click and extract it all right. Once it's extracted, we need to run the setup. Keep in mind, you need to run this setup, not the LCS Diagnostic FX underscore uh, 64. Uh, we don't want to do that. We need to run setup as administ administrator. Click next. If you have already created the certificate and you wanted to use that certificate you can use the use an existing certificate but uh, I would always re recommend that if you're first time doing it um, or second time doing it uh, you please go ahead and create a new certificate and upload that new certificate so that we won't run into an issue uh, there's one issue that I ran uh, doing this uh, it always asked me when I create the certificate and I uploaded the certificate and I clicked certificate is uploaded and I ran into issue saying that um, please uh, uh, valid certificate issue it's um, um, it says specify valid certificate issue I have put out the resolution a couple there are a couple resolutions on my uh, blog so I have put that there too but main um, one of the resolution is your clock setting you, you want to make sure that your clock is right and also you are in right time zone so we're gonna go ahead and create a new certificate and here you need to uh, give the sub, uh, prefix LCS underscore trust I'm going to do that click next and this will create a certificate for you and this certificate needs to be uploaded before you can proceed further on lifecycle services and this certificate will be created in the same directory as the LCS diagnostic tool is so we're gonna go ahead and go back to the LCS website click on browse and go to that directory where our certificate is 
right here is my certificate that I just created so you're gonna go ahead and double click that and upload once the certificate is uploaded we're gonna go ahead and minimize this and tell our installer that certificate has been uploaded click next um, where it says the domain account uh, this account needs to have uh, uh, permissions on SQL Server where your uh, uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX database exists and if you don't know what permission it really needs you can go on Microsoft website and look at the permissions if you wanted to do the specific permission but uh, for this purpose the easy fix for me is that you can go ahead and have the uh, temporary uh, while you're running the system diagnostic report uh, temporary sysadmin access on the SQL Server also this account needs to be um, in AOS, uh, in your uh, Dynamics AX AOS server, it ha needs to have access on that as well. So keep in mind that this is going to run the services and also it is going to connect to your SQL server and AOS server to get some information so that it can generate a report for us. So what I'm going to do up here is my Tech Brothers is my domain. So this is my cluster admin this is my account and it's also a business connector set up on my AOS so I'm going to use that I'm gonna go ahead and give the password click next now next is enter the shared for system diagnostic trace files let's say that uh, if something fails and you want to go back and look at the log file that what failed uh, it needs to have a shared directory so I'm going to go ahead and create a shared directory I'm gonna go ahead and create a shared directory right here system diagnostics so I'm going to make it shared For this demo purposes, I'm going to do everyone and I'll delete that after after we're done with this demo. Click on share. And this is the right here is the um, path that you need to provide. So we're going to go ahead and copy this and put it right here so click next click OK and it is going to install the services and start the services for you click finish and if you wanted to look at it right here this is my Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 server as well and right here it says Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services Diagnostic Service Dis Discovery and in order to look at the service you wanted to go run and services.msc and you will see that it has created the service up here if you look at it right here is Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services Diagnostic Service this is how you um, Install system, Microsoft System Diagnostic uh, Service Discovery. So we're going to go ahead and click on this and open. And this is how it looks like. And after that, you can provide your environment name, your SQL Server name, and we're going to go through that in our next video. I hope this helps.